The scientists claim that about 18,000 species are newly discovered annually. Although that seems unlikely, it still means that we have a whole lot of new animals around that were not here last year. Enough to make a video about, anyway. Dumbo Octopus This is our introduction, the Dumbo Octopus. This little guy isn't dumb, though. He's simply Dumbo-looking. Unlike his namesake, he's unable to spread his ears and fly, though. The Dumbo Octopus, formerly known as the Grimpa Toothus, is a deep-sea creature known for its distinctive ear-like fins that resemble the ears of Disney character Dumbo. Thus, its common name. This genus is about 13 recognized species. It's one of the deepest dwelling octopi, surviving in extreme conditions that most marine life cannot. It lives at depths ranging from 3,000 to 7,000 meters. It also has a soft gelatinous body that can withstand changes in pressure and temperature. The Dumbo octopus is small size, typically 20 to 30 centimeters, but occasionally reaching up to 1.8 meters and distinctive umbrella-shaped form add to its allure. Instead of pursuing prey, it employs an ambush strategy to consume crustaceans and worms. The adaptations of the Dumbo octopus to deep sea life, as well as its distinctive appearance, make it an intriguing subject for marine biologists. Honestly, it's just kinda cute though, isn't it? No. Leafy Sea Dragon It was obvious that whoever made the Leafy Sea Dragon did not take his job seriously. In terms of making it scary, at least. One would think anything called a sea dragon would be scary, but not this unique creature. The Leafy Sea Dragon, or Phycoderus Equest, is an aquatic marvel found on Australia's southern and western coasts. This sea fish has a seaweed-like appearance and is notable for its leaf-like protrusions that provide camo in its seagrass habitat. It can grow to be up to 35 centimeters long and moves with the sway of the water, mimicking drifting seaweed to elude predators and sneak up on prey. Sea dragons, unlike their seahorse relatives, like a prehensile tail for anchoring and instead have long, slender bodies and a tubular snout to feed on tiny crustaceans. Males externally carry eggs on a broad patch under their tail until they hatch. Despite its striking beauty, the leafy sea dragon's near-threatened species due to pollution, habitat loss, and illegal pet tree collection. You can actually have your own one, technically, if you play Pokemon, as they have one based off of this called Skrelp and Dragulge. There are efforts to protect this remarkable creature in real life, though, as it represents the complex and fragile biodiversity of our oceans, which are ongoing. Blob Snail I have no idea whose names these animals, but they obviously studied for a long time. I believe the complexity of a species' name is proportional to how long that specific scientist studied and how many letters they have behind their names. The blob snail, or sea angel, is a species of pelagic sea slug known scientifically as Cleon limacina. This snail, which resembles a small transparent blob, lives in the cold waters of the Arctic and North Atlantic Oceans. They can grow to be up to 5 centimeters long and have a distinct body structure. The blob snail lacks a shell and instead has a gelatinous, almost ghostly body. This makes it nearly invisible in the water. They can fly through the water thanks to their wing-like appendages, which are actually modified foot parts. These fascinating creatures are carnivorous, eating only sea butterflies, a type of small gelatinous marine snail. Blob snails use a unique hunting strategy in which they use their modified radula to suck out the soft bodies of their prey from their shells. Talk about sucking the life from someone. Maybe vampire snail would have worked better. Blobfish I think this contender was probably so ugly that scientists preferred not studying him. I imagine the study went down to the scientists that nobody else liked and they pretty much just said, you study this one. The blobfish, or Cycrolotes maricidus, is a deep sea fish distinguished by its gelatinous appearance. It lives in deep waters off the coast of Australia and New Zealand at depths ranging from 600 to 1200 meters, with pressure several dozen times greater than at sea level. Unattracted by most standards, it gained notoriety in 2013 when it was named the world's ugliest animal. The blobfish's unusual appearance is due to its adaptation to high-pressure environments. Because its body is less dense than water, it can float above the seafloor without expending energy swimming. It feeds primarily on edible matter that flows into its mouth. Blobfish are sedentary due to a scarcity of food in their environment. They're usually 30 centimeters long, and blobfish are rarely seen by humans due to their deep-sea habitat. They are, however, occasionally caught in bottom trawling nets and face threats from deep-sea fishing. Goblin Shark This one is not only ugly, but a bit horrifying as well. I mean, it's a shark with shark habits, and it looks like this. The Goblin Shark is a deep-sea species distinguished by its distinct elongated snout and protruding jaws, which contributes to its eerie appearance. It's found worldwide in depths greater than 100 meters and is often referred to as a living fossil due to its 125 million year lineage. Their pinkish skin is unique among sharks due to visible blood vessels beneath a thin layer of skin. They have a flabby body and small fins, indicating a slow-paced lifestyle. 
Goblin sharks hunt by using electrosensitive organs in their snout to detect the presence of prey and snapping their jaws forward to capture it. They average 3 to 4 meters in length but can grow to 6 meters. Goblin sharks pose no threat to humans and are rarely seen due to their deep sea habitat. There's little scientific knowledge about their ecology and behavior. While their conservation status is unknown due to their widespread distribution and infrequent interactions with fisheries, they're not currently considered threatened. Vampire Squid Vampire squids are really squids. Go figure. They're also not vampires either. The vampire squid is a living fossil that has barely changed since its emergence 300 million years ago. This creature, which lives half a mile deep in the ocean, has large eyes, eight long arms, and a sensory filament. Its defense mechanism is unique in that it curls its webbed arms around itself. Despite not being squids, these cephalopods coexist with millions of other species in the deep sea pelagic zone of the ocean, which extends from 330 feet below the surface to just above the deep sea floor. Scientists emphasize the threat of these species posed by human activities such as ocean warming, pollution, overfishing, and industrialization. While the seafloor has been extensively studied, little research has been done in the pelagic zone, which is home to a species critical to the diets of fish, whales, and turtles. Disturbances in this zone could have an impact on the ocean's role as a major food provider. Tiny Frogs Imagine finding a frog so small that nobody's ever really noticed it for hundreds of years. Is that even possible? Well, six new species of miniature frogs small enough to fit on a 50p coin have been discovered in Mexico's forests, specifically in the Sierra Madre del Sur region's Pine Oak Forest. Because of their small size, coloration, and similarity to known species, these species were overlooked. Their behavior and breeding habits are unknown because they live in their dark, humid leaf litter. Scientists recommend that these frogs be classified as endangered because their habitats are deteriorating and they're not very widely distributed. Their ecosystem role is significant, primarily as a food source, but they're threatened by habitat loss, climate change, and a lethal fungal disease. Papa Lingur this new species of primate looks like it robbed a bank and the dye bag exploded in its face. Except for that, they look like normal monkeys, though. The Popa Langur is a newly discovered primate species that was discovered through genetic analysis in 2020. Only about 200 to 250 individuals remain, making them critically endangered. They're named after the sacred Popa Mountain in Myanmar where they're found. Popa Langurs, with their distinctive grayish fur, white belly, and tuft hair around their heart-shaped face, are members of the Trachopithecus genus and are about a million years older than other Langurs. These leaf-eating primates live primarily in forests, but habitat loss caused by human activity has pushed them to the brink of extinction. Roseveld Feriros People who have home aquariums will know how important it is to have diversity in their tanks. This new species of wrasse will do just that, and makes for a beautiful animal as well. The Rose-Veiled Femi Ross is a stunning new addition to the world of marine biodiversity. This vibrant fish species was discovered in the Indian Ocean, specifically off the coast of Zanzibar and Mozambique. The Rose-Veiled Femi Ross is distinguished by its eye-catching coloration, with males displaying an enthralling combo of deep rose, purple, and black hues. Females, on the other hand, have a more subdued appearance with orange and pink tones. These fish are small with an average length of about 6 centimeters. This species lives in coral reefs at depths of 15 to 40 meters, where it seeks shelter and feeds on small invertebrates. The Roseveld Ferry Rass is well known for its stealth. It actually frequently hides among coral branches and crevices with easy results. The discovery of this very rass species highlights the Indian Ocean's incredible diversity in marine life. The Roseveld Ferry Rass, like many other coral reef inhabitants, is threatened by habitat degradation, overfishing, and climate change. Conservation efforts are critical to protecting this newly discovered species and ensuring its survival so that future generations can admire its beauty. Yeah, that's one pretty fish, alright. See you all next time.